Hi everyone, this is Martin from How to Make Mobile Games in Shanghai. Hope everyone's doing well. Today we're going to do a quick video on uploading one of your applications or games to the GetJar Android market. Now, uh, if you're a game developer or an applications developer um, uh, on Android, it's, it's obvious that you can develop and uh, publish your game onto, say, Google Play or the Amazon App Store, which are, are two great app stores that are probably the two largest at the moment. Um, for Android, but it's really important what we found is to get your game onto like other Android app stores as well, other alternative ones like SlideMe, um, like Appia, like uh, MobandGo.com, but also GetJar, which is one of the largest uh, Android app stores as well out there. And so that's what we're going to be doing today. We're going to upload a game and we're going to talk about that and show you how to do it. So, first thing is you need to go to developer.getjar.com. Uh, on there, you'll have to sign up for a developer account, which is really easy. You enter your email, password, a few details, and then you're you're good to go. And you just confirm the uh, the registration through your email, and then you can start to upload uh, free games or free applications. So what I'll do first is go into the publishing tab here, click on the arrow, and then go apps and sites. And this will show you a list of this, all the sites or all the apps or games that you've uploaded previously. And we've got a few here already. But we need to upload more of ours, so I'm going to do that today, and I thought I'd show you guys at the same time. So click here, New App or Site. And what we're going to do is, the first thing is we have to set a link for the game. So I'm going to call this Chicks Revenge and Tiny Pig Killer, which is the full name. Application name, Tiny Pig Killer. I previously typed this in, so it's popped up there. The list description, 100 characters. Now this has to be something that captures the... Uh, the attention of the players that are browsing through the GetJar um, uh, application store, app store. Uh, the app store for GetJar is actually similar to Google Play. It's on a on a mobile device. If you tap on the icon, then it will show you a list of apps, and it's pretty much the same thing. But they also have their web version as well. So I'm going to say, uh, come up with something kind of interesting. I'll try to. Time to get angry. Alright, so blast them piggies out of the sky or slice them with your sword. It's time to get this chick angry. So hopefully this will this will capture a little bit of attention as well. Um, the game is kind of it does use um, uh, a small chick in there, a small bird, and there's also pigs. And I'm trying to sort of use words that might be popular at the moment, so obviously bad piggies or angry birds, kind of like an SEO without uh, SEO search engine optimization without going sort of too overboard, um, i.e. not copying like the name of angry birds or anything like that. So text description, I'm going to include this from the iTunes one. So this is just the iTunes uh, web version, and that we already have Chicks Revenge on the iPhone App Store, so I'm just going to use this one and put it in there. So I'm going to grab these here, and I'm going to just I'm just using Control and C or Command and C to copy that, and then Command and V or Control and V to paste it. So we've got 152 characters remaining. So I'm going to put a little bit more in there. Just talking about how to play. It's usually a good idea to fill up as many characters uh, as is allowed. Uh, without sort of stuffing things in there that are, are, aren't necessary. So, let's have your finger on the screen. Okay. So, with the text, text description, it's usually pretty important to include a few bullet points in there to, to grab attention. Uh, it's much better than a big paragraph of text that people aren't likely to, to read through. But definitely within the first few lines, you know, have something that captures attention. We use these stars pretty often. Um, and it kind of makes the game look a little bit more polished, a little bit more, oh, it's, it's a well-rated game because we're using stars. Uh, we've also got some online reviews here as well, and some player reviews here. And these are all genuine. These have come from the, uh, the iPhone App Store. So I think that's pretty good. Next thing is screenshots and icons. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to choose the files and make sure when you have your screenshots that they are the correct size and they don't go above this 500 kilobytes here. Uh, or else it won't be allowed to upload. So I'm just going to go in and choose the files for Chicks Revenge. I'll find this. So 
Okay, so Android Marketplace, but we're using the same we're using the same screenshots for GetJar, so that's fine. Okay, so 800 by 480, and the size is just below 500 kilobytes, so we're fine. And for the second one, screenshot two, 800 by 480. Screenshot three, 800 by 480. GPG. Okay, that's fine. So I'm just going to put three screenshots on here. Um, it's usually a good thing to fill up all the screenshots if you've got more content or if the game is quite large. Then feel free to add as many as uh, as many as are allowed. It's usually a good idea. And um, okay, so what we want is a Chicks Revenge 32 by 32 PNG. That's four kilobytes, and I think that's okay. Yeah, seven kilobytes is allowed. 64 by 64. And that's an 8 kilobytes, so that's a little bit too large, I think. Yeah, so we might have to resize this one a touch. And I'll actually do that right now so you guys can see what I'm doing. So what I usually do is, is in Photoshop is I, I update these the size of the images or the screenshots. So what I'm going to do is go to File Open. And I'm going to find the files on my, my Mac here. So hopefully this will this will illustrate well how to resize screenshots for any of you guys out there who perhaps aren't familiar with Photoshop or um, how you usually resize things with Photoshop. So uh, Android Marketplace, and I think the one that we want is the 64 by 64. Yeah, that's the 8K size. Okay, and it says here we can only go to seven kilobytes. So what we're going to do is. Just check that this image size is correct. 64 by 64. I'm going to go File, Save for Web and Devices. And this should be pretty much the same for most Photoshop uh, versions from what I've seen. Is you shouldn't see much different from the file and the Save for Web and Devices. Uh, that should be pretty much similar across all of the Photoshop versions. So if you look at the up at the top here, we've gone PNG 8. And that's a, that's a more compressed format. I can get the files really small. And we've got three kilobytes here, so we're good for that. And let's click Save. Uh, logo 2 Chicks Revenge, 64 by 64. Okay, so that should be fine. And I think I've just saved to the wrong location, so my apologies for that. I'm just going to do this again. Save for Web and Devices. Uh, we're under three kilobytes, that's fine. Ah, okay, sorry, I've, I put it under the wrong folder. So, Chicks Revenge, Docs, Android Marketplace, save it, and we're going to replace that one from before. Okay, so 64 by 64 PNG, and that's now 4 kilobytes, which is great. And then we need a 128 one, 128, which is no larger than 10 kilobytes. And we'll see, because okay, so that's 12 kilobytes, that's too large. So same again, I'm just going to open this 128 by 128 PNG and I'm going to save this as a PNG 8, so save for web and devices, PNG 8, we're now 7.8 kilobytes which is right, click save and we'll make sure we're in the right folder this time, Chicks Revenge, correct, save, place, choose file and 128 by 128, 8 kilobytes, that's fine. Okay, uh, so these are all uploaded, uh, not uploaded, but they're actually ready to be uploaded. Categories uh, for Chicks Revenge is a game, and then select your subcategory, and we're going to call this action. So I'm going to do a quick double check to make sure I've got everything in here. So Chicks Revenge, Tiny Pig Killer, we've got the list description here, we've got the text in there which uses almost all of the characters which are allowed maximum number of characters uh, screenshot 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 and then the logos which are all of the right size and I'm double checking this because the second that you click next if one of these is wrong then it wipes them all and you have to re find them again and it's a little bit annoying so that's why I'm double checking them so once we're good click on next Okay, so you can't see it, but at the bottom here, I've just got it uploading 80%. This might take a couple of seconds. OK, 
Okay. I'll just resize this so you guys can see the progress. Uh, so the name is in uh, the name is in use by another application. That's probably my application that's been that's been uh, used because I had originally uploaded this, but then archived it as well. So what I'll do is I'll just call it Chicks Revenge Free Tiny Pig Killer. And as you see, what what I mentioned before is it will actually it will forget what the location of the uh, screenshots were, so I have to re-upload, but. It's not a major problem. We'll do that real fast. So screenshot two, JPEG, and screenshot three, uh, JPEG. Okay, that's fine. The description is in there. Thank God it saves that one. 32 PNG. This is the small one. Okay, that's below 7K. 64 PNG at 4K, which is fine. And then 128 which is below 10, okay, which is fine. Games, action, and let's click next and see how this goes.